Let me show you the package. I'm gonna see if I can get you a close-up here. Uh, these are uh, pork loin baby back ribs, okay? It's bone-in, this is what I buy. And I just put it on a big large cookie sheet with some heavy-duty foil. And what I would like to do is on the back side, it has this um, lining type thing that we try to take off. It's kind of hard to take it off but I try as hard as I can to get it off. The way I do it is I get a little knife and from one of the corners, I lift it up just like that and then you try to pull it just like that. You see how that's just coming off? And this way, the ribs are not chewy on the back side. And just take that off, just like that. Sometimes it breaks and you have to do it in pieces, but that's okay. Just get it off the best way you can. And then I flip it over. If it doesn't fit this way, I just put it diagonal. And the spices that I use for this, I try to keep it very uh, minimal because we are going to glaze them a little bit later. I get a little bit of the garlic powder. You sprinkle it very lightly. And then I get my... Levery's seasoning. Okay, and then I get some pepper, some fresh ground pepper. And the last item is salt. I don't put it on the back side, and that's it. Then we're just gonna wrap it up in foil. And what I do to the foil, so that it doesn't stick to the ribs, is I flip it over and I give it a little spray with some cooking spray so that it doesn't stick to the meat. And sometimes it tends to stick to the meat. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cover it real tight. Okay, I'm gonna pop this into a 275 degree oven. We're gonna leave them in there uh, low and slow. That's the best way to cook the ribs probably about two and a half hours and then we're gonna uncover it and start glazing the ribs. So I will be back. Okay guys, we are gonna start making the glaze. I took the ribs out of the oven a couple of minutes ago. I'm gonna save the foil. And what we are going to do is we're gonna pour the, the juices that came out of the meat, we are going to pour it into our little pot here. Just be careful and don't splash yourself. And we are going to turn this on and we are going to add our ingredients that we're going to make for the glaze. We are going to put some Heinz 57. If you don't like the 57 and you like the A1, use the A1. It's going to be about a half a bottle. We're going to put about a quarter of a cup of honey, the garlic, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we're just going to whisk all this together. Now we're going to reduce it by about half. I'm going to add a little bit more of the 57. I just wanted to check it there. Because that one was a small bottle. Some pepper. And a little bit of salt. Because we already salted the meat. We're going to let this simmer and reduce about half. And then I'll be back when it's time to brush the ribs. Okay guys, now that this has cooked down about half, I'm going to turn the heat down just so I can work with it. And we are going to add the barbecue sauce now. Now this, you can pick whatever barbecue sauce you like, whatever you prefer. And it's a cup of barbecue sauce. You stir that in. And now this is nice and thick. Let this come up to the simmer one more time. We're going to start basting our ribs. Okay, I'm going to turn it off, put it over here. We're going to slide our ribs over, keep the foil, and we're going to baste everything. I just kind of pour it on there. And you're going to do this a couple of times because this is going to start getting sticky. You're going to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes or 20 minutes 
you'll know you're gonna raise the temperature now to 350 let this roast and then you just keep basting it okay it's going back in the oven Okay, everybody it's ready it's been out of the oven the way I like to check it is I just get a little knife and a fork and I cut right through the end right here and as you can see that's just falling apart so we know it's ready look at that we know it's ready so I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit and then I'm gonna cut into these and we're gonna give them a taste they smell delicious Oops, hot. Okay, we'll be back. I can get you a close-up how delicious okay I'm gonna cut this in half so I don't buy two of them and I am going to plate it up and give this a taste look at that just falling apart okay let's give this a okay everybody we're gonna give these ribs a taste I see that they're just so soft and they're falling apart can't wait to give these a taste I hope you try this recipe Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are so, so good, so tender. It's got a little bit of the sweet, not, not too much. It's not overly sweet because if you think it's going to be overly sweet because of the honey and the, and the brown sugar, it's not. It's really, really good. Of course, you do taste the flavoring, the seasoning that we put, the salt and pepper. It's really good. But I always tell you, adjust your seasoning the way you like it and the way your family likes. These are so delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. Uh, I will have the recipe and everything I used in the description box below. And don't forget to tag me if you make the recipe so I can go check it out. If you have any questions about the recipe, just drop me a comment and I will get back with you. I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. I really enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.